I am a survivor of a domestic violence relationship. Mm -hmm. And not at any point was David and I in an abusive relationship. Tamar Braxton is speaking out after an abuse allegation was leveled against her. I loved David. He was my best friend. On Wednesday, the 43-year-old TV personality appeared on Tamron Hall and denied her ex, David Adefiso's claim that she attacked him. David filed for a domestic violence restraining order against Tamar in September. ET has reached out to David for comment. A few days after David's filing, during an Instagram Live, he claimed Tamar assaulted him when he was driving at a high speed with an unexpected blow to his neck. I will never, never bring myself to, to attack Tamar, somebody I've spent so long with. I never will. It's just not something I will do. I'll speak the truth. Here's the truth. I've been a victim of domestic violence, domestic assault. I, uh, I was attacked. He went on to claim that she was also secretly recording him. While Tamar denies all that, claiming that she voice recorded the alleged altercation while David was the one to film it. I voice recorded it. He videotaped it. He has a camera in his car. He has the videotape. He has it. It was in his car. Release it. David also claimed that the alleged incident led him to crash his Rolls Royce, causing $30,000 in damages. The 49-year-old added that the alleged altercation was his basis for filing a restraining order. He was an amazing, amazing partner. He was my son's best friend as well. They were best friends. And it's just so hard because through everything else, I never expected this from him. Now, I have to be real with myself. Was, is he acting like this because he found me the way that he found me? Probably, I don't know. Of course, all this comes after the reality star credited David with saving her life in an emotional Instagram post in August. After he found her unresponsive in July at the Ritz Carlton residences in downtown LA where they were staying. And what's the emergency? Uh, my girlfriend is not responding. Are you with her right now? Yes. Yeah. The singer was rushed to the hospital and was later transferred to another hospital facility in LA to receive mental health treatment from top specialists. That was my lowest point of life. Had you ever tried to take your life before? Um, I'm just going to be 100%. Um, there has been a time where I wanted to. But this was the first time you act acted on it. Yeah. And while Tamar wouldn't divulge the details of that day, she says she's getting the help she needs. I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety due to a circumstance. Are um, you medicating no, yourself? No, I'm not medicated. Um, but I am in counseling every in single counseling. day. Tamar also opens up about her family's reality show, Braxton Family Values. Tony called and she told me that Tamar was rushed to the hospital because she tried to commit suicide. This is not the show that I created. I created the Braxton Family Value because I wanted to be an example, a part of the black community with five black amazing sisters with all different walks of life, who can inspire and help and people can learn from our experiences along the way. The trailer for the latest season dropped last week and in a since deleted Instagram post, Tamar weighed in, calling it disgusting, adding quote, f we TV and whomever else participating for using my pain for their pleasure and ratings. Listen, I'm not gonna sit here and act like a complete victim. I played a part in that. I think that, um, for the show and for my family, we wanted to have a great show. And sometimes that is making a deal with the devil. That is doing things that you wouldn't normally do. 